Hello again, it's Mr. RG Stuff, back in the workshop with my DIY cylinder phonograph. After my recent mini disaster with the wax cylinder, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who has commented and supported me on this. It really makes it worth doing for me. I also especially wanted to thank Matthew Richards, who has a lot more experience than me, for confirming that the uh, 78 stylus, and that's the one on this cartridge here, uh, works fine on celluloid cylinders like this one, which I've also described as indestructible as that was what they were referred to at the time. And um, also that the burnished effect that I saw on the wax cylinders with the PLA stylus, and that's the one I've got fitted at the minute, um, was due to cleaning rather than the uh, stylus damaging the record. As you may remember, the uh, 78 stylus was actually damaging the wax record, um, which is why I had to stop the experiments at that point. Okay, well I'm not gonna go into a great deal of detail on the PLA stylus in this video, I'll save that one for a future one. But essentially, uh, it has a bigger rounder tip than the uh, 78 one and uh, is more suited to softer records like the wax ones. Um, it shouldn't be needed on, on this celluloid one, um, but uh, it would be very interesting to see whether it actually works. Um, you'll probably also notice that I've got a washer rammed in the back there. That's basically to... Um, reduce the amount of weight or pressure that the stylus is placing on the record. Again, don't think it's necessary for this celluloid record, but um, will be uh, useful or necessary for the wax cylinders. Right, well I've got the uh, the PLA stylus in as I previously mentioned. Um, I'm going to be running this test at 160 RPM. I've done uh, a couple of uh, runs through already and to be honest it doesn't track very well. I either get echo there's a loud passage about here that it really isn't happy going past. So I think the uh, the uh, larger ball shape of the stylus is not fitting in the grooves very well. Um, so I've got an amp um, which um, will be what you hear to begin with and then I'll cut to the uh, actual audio track that I'm recording. Right, I think that'll do for that one. Just going to change the stylus over now. So that involves changing the whole cartridge. Because basically, um, the 78 stylus is in this sort of configuration, this flip stylus. So I'm going to have to dismantle it a bit and change the whole cartridge over. Right, all set up now for the, uh, the 78 stylus. And uh, you may notice in the uh, the previous run I had uh, this little washer somewhere here basically to try and put a little bit more weight on the PLA stylus because it just wasn't tracking very well but uh, even that amount of weight didn't help. And of course I'd remove this big washer from the back. Um, so uh, I'll have to see when it comes to the actual wax cylinders themselves as to how much weight. But uh, before I go anywhere near a wax cylinder again I'm going to... Uh, make some improvements um, to this part here, the carriage, so that I have much better control over the amount of pressure that the stylus is placing on the record because uh, I have no idea at the minute um, and I've got no easy way of measuring it either because uh, I can't easily get uh, some scales in here to check. Don't seem a day too much. 
Right, going to stop it just there. That last quite loud passage there, it wouldn't actually do on the PLA stylus. It just wouldn't track over that. I think the problems with the echo on the PLA stylus are due to the uh, tip not fitting neatly in one groove, but maybe straddling a groove. Um, and so you get uh, the sound from one rotation and the next rotation or the previous rotation at the same time. I think it's fair to say though that um, the PLA stylus doesn't really track very well on this record. So although I'm kicking myself still for uh, not uh, bothering to uh, make a PLA stylus or a two minute stylus with a nice round tip for the wax records, I think had I done so initially I would have had no end of trouble trying to get uh, this uh, indestructible celluloid cylinder to play. Um, it would appear that the correct stylus for it um, at least by modern standards, is, is this 78 one. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG's stuff. Thank you.